they get to know you and your stories. And Manoj was was one that I I really really admire what he's done. So he is the founder of Tetra Noodle Technologies. Um, he's a business accelerator, an inventor. He's also an author. And uh, he also has a podcast, which I recently was on as well. And he is just this amazing, amazing, very smart human being who over the last uh, 25 years has really made some huge dents in the technology industry. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about how Manoj built Tetra Noodle and how they're using technologies like AI, artificial intelligence, uh, that is uh, blockchain and human psychology to better inform their clients. So those are some important things I learned. And spe- and the other thing is, you know, communication, ha- you know, uh, talking to people, understanding them, collaborating with them. Uh, so uh, generally people don't work in teams until they are much older. They, you know, they, they have passed universities, they go into professional um professional uh, careers and even then in many cases they sort of work in isolation so uh, when i got the experience even though at that moment you know you, you don't realize it and sometimes you really resent it because you have to work with people they they treat you like uh, you know um, a piece of crap and then they uh, the, you you still have to comply with the orders you ha- have to deliver and that also was a huge lesson for me to, in the later part of my life to how to collaborate, how to communicate. And these kind of things were really valuable. You know, big corporation, I, I, how are they similar? How are they different? Yeah, as it I mean, to your, to your business. Absolutely. Um, you know, startups want to move fast and they are chaotic. Uh, and uh, so, but they want the, the structure of a large corporations. They want the connections of large corporations. They want the exposure of the large corporation. On the other hand, large corporations have all this, like they have resources, they have money, they have structure, but they lack the nimbleness. They lack uh, the, the, you know, the ability to move fast. So what we try to do, and, and then we see this across industries as well, where, you know, one industry has solved the problem, but then, the other industry uh, does not know anything about different industries, so they still struggle with the same problem. Yet, since they don't like pick up their head and see, hey, if somebody else has solved the problem, um, so that's what we do. We cross pollinate these ideas and help startups move faster, gain traction very quickly. And on the other hand, large corporations they want nimbleness, so we uh, help them with you know moving. Um, Sorry, um, take they take the ideas from startup and then uh, do the hit and trial sort of uh, a way of uh, agile methodologies. The continuum of how our mind thinks and what AI is doing, it's basically a continuum because AI can really understand what people are thinking and it can surface the patterns in, in the real world, what really works, how people think. Whether that's right or wrong, irrespective of that, AI will just tell you. This is what people are thinking. And if you look at it, how this is applied, all the social media platforms use it and they amplify what people are thinking and they they sort of, uh, you know, in their own way. In the industry, in the business, there are so many applications. You know, if you want to break into new markets, if you want to raise pricing, if you want to, you know, make your customer more loyal. So it's all about understanding other people. And um, as, as humans, you know, we have ego problems, we have biases, we have, you know, we have uh, uh, days which are not, we are not in a good mood to talk to other people. But uh, as you apply AI in these uh, realms, it can actually start to build these connections. It can actually start to build these relationships.